It's a way of the Mr. Quickie, oh yeah. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? I know what you're thinking. This is going to be a video bashing the MAGA crowd, or Republicans and sinners in general, right? Well, if that's what you're thinking, you'd be wrong. Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader is an American quiz show which ran for seven seasons here in the States on the Fox Network, Nickelodeon, and in syndication. The show asks a single contestant 10 questions taken from elementary school textbooks, two from each grade, first through fifth. Each question answered correctly adds money to the pile. On Fox, contestants could win up to a million dollars. $250,000 in syndication and $100,000 on Nickelodeon. School-aged kids partnered with the contestants in answering the questions and could be a kind of lifeline if the contestant didn't know the answer. The questions are not as easy as you'd imagine and only two people ever collected the $1 million grand prize. A superintendent of public schools and a winner of the Nobel Prize in Physics. Apparently, our fifth graders are a lot smarter than you'd imagine, and certainly a lot smarter in terms of the knowledge available to them than your average first century Palestinian. Basic literacy rates for Jews living in first century Palestine were probably less than 3%, which was actually high for the ancient world in general. Among women and people living in rural areas, farmers and the like, that rate would have been significantly lower. In terms of the basic access to the kind of knowledge available to the average American fifth grader in 2022, these people would have known almost nothing. They would likely have believed that the Earth and the universe are very young, that humans have existed since the beginning of creation. They would have believed in a great flood which consumed the entire Earth and in a firmament which held back the waters, covering an Earth which had four corners. They would also have believed in witches, demons, dragons, and unicorns. Worse yet, so much of the basic information about our world now accessible to elementary school children would have been non-existent. They would have no understanding about the geography of the planet, its shape, size, or how continents have moved over vast periods of time. They would have known nothing of the germ theory of disease or of our heliocentric solar system, nor would they have known anything about basic biology or the origin of our species via natural selection. These ancient peoples were ignorant of virtually everything our middle schoolers now know about the world. In fields like physics, anatomy, psychology, paleontology, chemistry, astrophysics, medicine, meteorology, genetics, etc., that knowledge wouldn't even exist for another 1,500 years or more. Of course, when you're receiving information via revelation from the all-knowing creator of everything, your intelligence is quite inconsequential. But that's the question, isn't it? Was knowledge of a young earth, a global flood, a firmament, etc., really acquired via revelation from God? The evidence clearly suggests otherwise. And yet, we have millions, perhaps hundreds of millions of people living their entire lives based on what was said and written 2,000 years ago or more by people who didn't know as much about our world as the average American fifth grader. Our surgeons might as well be using the techniques of ancient Egyptian doctors. Has any field of knowledge on earth been so stagnant and so stale for so long? All because some ancient people really imagined they were communing with the divine. Despite the fact that we now know just how wrong they were on almost every front, from the age of the earth to man's recent appearance on the scene. If these ideas really did come from God, then it's not just the people. Even the tribal war god of Abraham himself can't compete with today's average elementary school graduate. Once again, I'm me. Thanks for watching.